Today we're making some super cute and trendy cupcakes for summer. Hi there foodie friends, my name is Carly and welcome back to my channel, Adventures and Yum. Cupcake number one is a shag cupcake. While I've been seeing this trend more on cakes, I decided to apply it to cupcakes instead. This one's super easy because we're using just one kind of piping tip. We have our cupcake ready to be decorated and our buttercream in a piping bag that's fitted with a Wilton 233 grass tip. You can either do one solid color, a multi-color shag using multiple bags that are each filled with a different color, or the third option, which is what I decided to do here, one bag filled with multiple colors. I'm using a combination of light pink, light orange, and light yellow because that combination always feels very summery to me. We hold the tip right above the surface of the cupcake and then apply some pressure to the bag and allow the buttercream to make contact with the top and slightly build up on the top of the cupcake. We continue to lightly apply pressure while moving the piping bag away from the center of the cupcake and release pressure to the piping bag and finally finish pulling away. We then repeat this technique by piping along the top of the cupcake, starting on the outside and working our way toward the middle until it's completely covered. Is this my favorite cupcake decoration style? Honestly, no, but it's always fun to try new things. I think with a little more practice, I could make it look a little more full and a little more shaggy. For cupcake number two, we're utilizing one of my personal favorite decorating methods, flattening it using parchment paper and the freezer. There's so much you can do with this form of cupcake decorating, and if you've seen my YouTube shorts, you know I've been having a lot of fun trying different decorating styles using this technique. Today we're adding stencils to this flattening technique to make some cute designs. We start by simply piping a mound or swirl of buttercream on the top of our cupcake. We then take a stencil that is no bigger than the top of the cupcake and place it on a parchment paper square. We place the cupcake upside down and gently press down. Next, we place that in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes to allow the buttercream to harden. The stencils I used for the cupcakes in this video include a pineapple, sun, turtle, leaf, flip-flops, and a hibiscus flower. These stencils are actually made for coffee art, but they are perfect for adding stencil designs to the top of cupcakes. Once our buttercream has completely hardened in the freezer, we carefully remove the parchment paper and temporarily leave the stencil on the cupcake. Now, we can either use edible glitter, buttercream, or even sprinkles to decorate these cupcakes. For the pineapple, I'm carefully dabbing the design with edible glitter. Once we're done, we carefully lift the stencil, and there we have our cute design. If we want to, we can use buttercream for the stencil as well. We add a little bit of buttercream of a different color and use an offset spatula to make the buttercream layer thin and as smooth as possible. Once we're happy with it, we carefully lift the stencil to reveal the design. If we want, we can also pipe details onto the cupcakes after the stencil has been removed, like I did with these flip-flop cupcakes using a Wilton 101 tip. We can either leave the cupcakes as is, or we can dip the sides of the buttercream in sprinkles or add some edible glitter or even add a touch that's perfect for summer by using graham cracker crumbs to represent sand. Before we decorate our final trendy cupcake today, if you're getting value out of this video, then please make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about my latest video. For our third and final trendy cupcake, we're making pop art cupcakes. If you're not quite sure what pop art is, it's an artistic style that utilizes bright and bold colors that are outlined by black lines to add more definition and really make the images pop. For this cupcake, I have a mixture of colorful buttercream in my piping bag that's fitted with a Wilton 2D piping tip. I chose the color combo of light pink, light yellow, light orange, and light green because I feel like they're very summery and they also remind me of a great summer treat, sherbet. To start, we're piping a basic tall dollop of buttercream onto our cupcake. Then we take a piping bag filled with black buttercream and fitted with a Wilton tip one and we're piping along all the edges of the buttercream. By outlining all the details with the black buttercream, it ends up highlighting them, which gives it that pop art effect. You can also use a tip two for these outline details, but the lines end up being a bit too thick, so I prefer a tip one. And here's what the cupcake looks like when we're done outlining all the details. Which one of these cupcakes is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in checking out some of the products I used in this video, then please make sure to check out that video description below for their Amazon links. Thank you so much for joining me today, foodie friends. I'll see you next time for another yummy adventure.